welcome back. Aberdeen Fan TV, how you doing? So, the winter break is finally over and um, haven't signed anyone yet properly. We've got Max Lowe back, which is great news. We got him back yesterday. Um, happy with that. Um, they've went and signed a veteran, so it's fine. We'll take their, their youngest talent back. That's fine. He's a great player. and I'm sure we're all happy about that. Um, it's been a, a long two weeks, so um, we weren't sure if we were going to get him back. So, He's missed the Dubai trip, but I'm sure he's been doing training with uh, the with Derby, so um, I'm sure he'll be much fit. And hopefully he recovered from that injury he picked up um, against Hearts as well. So, he's ready to go for tomorrow. Stenhouse Muir. Um, don't know much about the team, to be honest. Uh, lower league side. Hopefully the lower league, all that getting beat from lower lower teams is gone now. We've, we've handled lower teams pretty well over the past few years so we should be fine I think we'll we should cruise that game maybe three maybe now three four now maybe hopefully in the next round um I think we should just be a maybe a chance for Derek to try a few new faces as well um it's few the younger younger lads you know what I mean so maybe Gary McKay Stephen will be back he's been back training I know he's been linked with New York um there hasn't been really much more said about that to be honest but hopefully he's back for tomorrow and and part of the game anyway, so he's, he's been doing training in Dubai, so I think he should be fine, he should be here, ready to go, so um, I don't know if he'll start him, I, I, I would imagine he would stick with Conor McLennan, he's been brilliant, so um, I, if it was me, I, I, I would keep Conor in just now, maybe change it later on in the game, 70 minutes, bring on GMS and let him have a wee run around, see who he is, um, I'm sure the fans would be happy to see him as well, and yeah, happy he's back, um, Mark Reynolds as well back, Michael Devlin should be back, so we should have a full squad really, and it's great that obviously Max Lowe's added to that as well. Um, some uh, news today, we're being linked with Joe Shaughnessy, eh? um, former Don, he captain of St Johnston, so he, yeah, I would have him back, he's a great player, he wants to come back and bolster our defence, I, I would quite happily have him, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know whether it's true or no, you know, it's rumours at this time of year, January, that comes around. Graham Shinney, Wigan, that was put to bed yesterday by Derek McInnes, that was just rubbish. Uh, nothing in that at all, so, um, which is great, I'm happy. Hopefully he still hasn't signed a contract yet, but hopefully he gets that done. Hopefully that's the main priority, to get that done. If not GMS on him, just Shinney, I'd be happy. If I had to pick over the two, I would keep Shinney, to be honest, but I don't know, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. I would rather have Shinney stay than GMS. Um, I don't know. Another one we're linked with is Greg Stewart. Bring him back from Birmingham. Come on, want him as well, but I would imagine if that was true, we would have a little bit more cash to throw at, uh, at Birmingham than Kilmarnock would, but you never know. Um, he's been great for him. The season for Kilmarnock has been good, so why not have him back? Yeah, I would. I'm sure you guys would as well. Um, I don't know. What else news are today? What else have we been linked with? Has there been a few more? I can't remember. <laughs> um, Scott McTominay, we were linked with him, but I... I think Celtic got him from as well, so if if he's going to choose, he's going to go there, is he? Unless Alex Ferguson has a word with him and says, get up there, Aberdeen, dad, go to that Celtic shite, you know what I mean? But <laughs> that I don't know, like, so. Um, but yeah, uh, who knows? If he comes here, that'd be great. Um, I don't know if he will, it's just rumours, is it, this time of year? It was BBC that said it, so it wasn't the sun, so if the sun says it, you know it's rubbish, but who knows? Um, yeah, so tomorrow, my prediction is Aberdeen 4, Stenhouse Muir 0. Um, I think it should be a comfortable game for the Dons. Freezing cold weather, I'm not expecting a huge, huge crowd. But you never know, it's been a few weeks since the Dons have played. We've got Hamilton on Wednesday as well, so that's away from home. So it's good that the season's going to be back up and running again. Two weeks with football is a bit annoying, but oh well. We're back and we'll be doing these again regularly now. So yeah, stand free guys, all the best and see you tomorrow. 3-0 or 4-0, let me know what your thoughts are. Bye guys.